Determinants are a quantity associated with square matrices. They're very, very, very useful. For notation, you'll see DET and then the matrix in parentheses. Or you might see the, the numbers of a matrix and then looks like absolute value signs around it. Let's go over finding the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. So here's the matrix. It has the brackets around it. And this means the determinant. It just has those straight lines. And here's the formula. It's A times D, so these two times each other, minus BC. So we subtract this product. So, ching, ching. so let's do this determinant. We're going to have 1 times negative 3 minus a negative 2 times 6. So the determinant is 9. Let's find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. I'm going to teach you a shortcut. We're going to take the first column and rewrite it, and the second column and rewrite it. And then we're going to multiply, uh, quote, diagonals. So we're going to take AE times I, BF times G, and CDH. And then we're going to do the same thing going up. And these numbers you're going to add, and then these products you're going to subtract. And that will give you the determinant. So let's do an example. First let's rewrite the first two columns. Now we'll take products. So we're going to have 1 times 0 times negative 1 is 0. Negative 3 times 2 times negative 2 is 12. On this one we'll get a negative 80. And going up, so we'll add the bottom ones, then minus 0, minus 8, minus 15. And we get negative 91. Now that nice little pattern that worked for the 3 by 3 doesn't work for the 4 by 4 or 5 by 5s. If you want an adventure, you could try to find a pattern for the 4 by 4. There are several ways to define determinants for any size of matrix. And the one I'm going to teach you is called cofactor expansion. First thing to do is pick a row or column of your matrix. The more zeros there are, the easier. Then you're going to find what's called the minors of that row or column. You're going to take each entry of that row or column one by one. And you'll cross out the row and column that that entry is in and find the determinant of what's left. Then we need to find what's called the cofactors. And that's either 1 times the minor or negative 1 times the minor. You find where your corresponding entry is on a matrix that alternates positive and negative. If it's a minus, then you multiply your minors by a negative 1. Otherwise, just leave it. Let's find this determinant. So first, let's pick a row or column. The middle row or and middle column both have a 0 in them. Let's go ahead and pick the middle column. Let's also make a matrix that tells us whether we're going to multiply our minors by 1 or negative 1. So let's start with that negative 3 entry. So we'll take negative 3. Then we have that our mi minors can be multiplied by a negative 1. And then to find the minor, we cross out the row and column that negative 3 is in and find that determinant. We'll come back to the determinant. Okay, the next entry in our column is 0. We'll have 0 times the cofactor, but that'll just be 0, so we don't need to bother to find that. So let's go to the next entry, 4, and we're going to have it at times a negative 1, and then we cross out the row and column containing that 4. So we'll need the determinant of 1, negative 4, 5, and 2. So now would be a good time to find those determinants. So we're going to have 3 times negative 1, which is minus 3, and a negative 4 times 22, which is negative 88. And so our determinant is negative 91. Let's just do the setup for a 4 by 4 determinant. We'll need the signs. Let's pick a row or column. We want one with zeros in it, if possible. Let's go ahead and pick the second row. So we start out with 0 times the cofactor. We don't need to calculate that. Then we're going to have 5, and here it's a positive spot. 
so we don't need to multiply by negative 1. And we're going to have the determinant of the 3 by 3 left when we cross out second row and second column. Then the next number in our row is negative 4. Okay, there's a minus spot there. So we have a negative 1. And let's see what numbers we'll have in our determinant. And then we have the negative 1. It's a positive spot. Cross out the second row and fourth column. And this is the determinant we need to find. Now you would find each 3 by 3 determinant until you eventually get the answer.